Blog Talk Radio. Hey there! Welcome to Big Blend Radio with your hosts, Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazine.com. It's party time because it's Monday. Yeah. No, it's not. It doesn't matter what day it is. It's party time. It is January 24th, 2022. And welcome to our fifth, fifth Big Blend Radio Happy Hour Anniversary Party. We've had four champagne Sundays. I think we're actually, I think we're about 10 in of these parties. Um, welcome, everyone. These are one of our anniversary parties. We're airing live from the studio of ceramic artist Andrea Fay in beautiful Peachtree City, Georgia. And she'll be on the show today. So we're going to go pick her up on the Big Blend Party Bus. We've got mm-hmm. some other amazing guests that have been on our show over the years. Bobby DePorter, the Queen of Excellence. Shelly Wizen, Soul Diving Shelly. We're going to be chatting with her. And we also have Jennifer Saran calling in from Thailand. Uh, amazing oh. vocalist. You've heard her on cool. the shows over the years and us playing her music. So we're going to do that, too. But um, today's show uh, is one of our special live broadcast that we're going to be doing throughout the year. As you know, many of us, you know, we've been doing all the Zoom recordings so you can see and listen to interviews. Uh, so we air daily. Just go to BigBlendRadio.com. But this is our anniversary time, and we're celebrating 25 years of Big Blend magazines in this country, 15 years mm-hmm. of Big Blend Radio that started out here on this platform, Blog Talk Radio, back in the day where they didn't know the word podcast. <laughs> it was logos exactly. at the beginning. It was back mm-hmm. in the day, and um, also 10 years of traveling on our Love Your Parks tour. So we're feeling very young and vibrant, right, Nancy? <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. We are. We're, we're feeling great. Uh, Priscilla, our pink sock monkey, is in our virtual Big Blend party bus. She's excited because she, she loves to drive, and she has these <laughs> amazing talents of cooking and serving um, and, driving. and you know, pouring drinks, and um, <laughs> she also likes to play with cats and dogs. Uh, sometimes they like to play with her and drag her out into you know the garden. But mm-hmm. um, today she's protected. She's on the bus, and um, she's excited to pour everyone drinks. But um, we've got to just give a shout out to Eight at the Gate Winery. Um, they're based out of South Australia. Mm. We're going to be doing an interview with them and Diva Linda Kassam, the food wine shopping diva, who got us all connected. Their wines are incredible. Right now, mm. we are sipping, sipping, <laughs> be careful here, on a 2016 <laughs> Shiraz. Did I say that right? <laughs> you say it. Shiraz. It's, yes. I just want to go Shiraz. 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 Uh, it's a family selection, <laughs> and um, this is from a, sting, a single estate vineyard, and it is absolutely divine. Yummy. It has been matured in French oak for 26 months, ripe berry mm. fruits with hints of pepper. Nancy loves that. It's Chocolate and on the tobacco back notes. End. It is full-bodied, velvety, and long. It is beautiful. Their name mm. comes from the morning ritual of assembling their eight children at the gate for the school bus. Two sisters produce wines in the Terra Rosa soils of wow. Lanacuna Estate. It's absolutely if you have delicious eight children, and won many you, awards. You know, if you have you eight wine. children, you, you need wine. You yeah, do. This is fabulous. Mm. And so uh, eight at the gate.com is their website. I'm looking yep. And stay tuned because you'll hear them on the first Saturday of March, our interview with Diva Linda as well. So, and you know, she's been a fixture on Big Blend Ready for what, 15 years? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think, and we've known her for longer than that. So, and right. she's been writing with us for, I would say, almost 20. So, I'm very excited. We've got great guests on the show. So, Nancy, are you ready? We're going to get on the bus and um, sure. sip wine while Priscilla drives us to Florida. So we can pick up Andrea while we're here and babysitting her, her studio and her cat. So take a listen. <laughs> uh, we've got, you know, we always like to play a little music. And uh, Andrea's got a party bus song. <laughs> She's very pretty. That music's 
yourself very warm, like you're going to a beautiful mm-hmm. area. And that's what we're doing in Florida, picking up Andrea Fay, the ceramic artist. And I encourage you to go to her website, andreafay.com, and that's F-A-Y-E. So, Andrea, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Well, Congratulations good. on all of your anniversaries that you are celebrating. Thank you. Well, thank you. And listen, cheers mm-hmm. to you. <laughs> cheers to you. It's because cheers to you. We get to celebrate with you, fun. and you're part of it. So there it is. You know. Uh huh. So cheers. Yeah, thank you. And and, cheers and we'll to get you to cheers too. with you later. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. We're looking forward mm-hmm. to it. Cool. So Priscilla, do you, do you like the bus? She's she's decked it out pretty well, don't you think? Our little sock monkey. She's done a good job on our she's party a bus. Doll. She, she is. is. She's she a great is. driver. She is. She got there pretty fast. Um, she would like to serve you something to eat and drink. It's happy hour. What would you like? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with my favorite. It's got to be pepperoni pizza. Yum. Oh. And I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to sweet wine it with some moscato. Ooh, I do have to have mm. bubbles. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Mm. We yeah. like this. All right, she's she's good at that. In fact, she has a good delivery service that brings it to the bus wherever we are. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's very good. That's coming. All right. So, Andrea, are you ready to go across the country? So, I mean, I we've got an extra set. large pizza. Good. We cool. got an extra large pizza, okay. and we got a case of the Moscato. We're gonna go to San Diego and pick up Bobby Deporter, the Queen of, of the Excellence. Moscato. Yes, a very good Moscato. I mean, it's a long <laughs> drive. I know. We have to go over bayous, you know, through Louisiana, through the swamps of Mississippi. <laughs> we got to go across the desert. Well, it's a good thing we're not driving. Road. I know. And, That's why we and, have a monkey driving. <laughs> and and we get to go across the great state of Texas to get to Bobby. So it's a, it's a long drive. So you know, hang hang in there. <laughs> okay. Set it up a little bit here now. You drank the whole case. <laughs> well done. I'm well thirsty. Done. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's that Especially pepperoni you go pizza. Through Texas. I know it was Texas that did it, man. I tell you. Yeah, but hey, we landed in in North San Diego uh, to meet up with Bobby DePorter, who is the creator of the Eight Keys of Excellence. It's an awesome, awesome character education program uh, that we've been, you know, talking about for years and writing mm-hmm. stories about it. Uh, Bobby's an author, education expert. She is the queen of excellence, and you can go to eight keys in the number eight. You, look at this, and we're doing eight at the gate too, right? It's all about the mm-hmm. number eight today, uh, eightkeys.org. So welcome back, Bobby. How are you? I'm doing great. Sitting here in sunny, sunny San Diego today, very grateful for that right now. Yeah. Oh, see, <laughs> Andrea's got sunshine. We got sunshine today, just a little chilly. Yes, we did. <clears throat> Peach Street chilly, City, because they need that co- cold snap for those peaches, because they mm-hmm. do have good peaches here. But I'm glad you're getting sunshine, <laughs> and heard that your areas had a lot of rain, too, which is good as well, that California's been getting some more rain. Um, it is. So it's a snowpack nice. they always pay attention to, so... That's doing well. Mm. Cool. Oh, good, good. Good. You know, Miss Priscilla misses you, and she wants to say hi to Quackers. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Quackers back. Quack, quack. <laughs> They're quite quack, the pair quack. when they get together. Mm-hmm. See, this is the thing is we travel around, we see a lot of ducks and, we, <laughs> and, and geese, and we send Bobby pictures of Quackers um, as we go around. But, Bobby, what can Priscilla serve you? Well, I'm in a, you know, uh, all about celebration right now, so I'm going straight for it with champagne and chocolate. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, yummy. Andrea. Yum. I think you're on mm. the same bus together. <laughs> I'm wow. good with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's, let's get. Let's Make that a double, double order. 
Oh, so here it is. Another case is coming on board. Another case is coming on board. All right, but listen, we don't have far to go because we're going to go to Sherman Oaks up in California. I'm up in, I was going to say up in Southern California, just up the road from Bobby, and we're going to go pick up the Soul Diver. So stay tuned for Shelly. <laughs> So we have landed in Sherman Oaks uh, to meet up with Shelly Wizen, and uh, she is known for being the soul diver. Uh, she has uh, the, well, she's the founder of the Soul Diving Institute. She's an author. Her latest book is What Do You Bring to the Table? A Savory, Sensory, and Inspirational Guide to Living a Yummy, Delicious Life. I think we're doing that, ladies. I think mm-hmm. we're all doing quite well on that. <laughs> but welcome back, Shelly. How are you? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so much better, and I feel great. And Good. I'm very, very happy and honored to be with you guys. Oh, we love oh, having you back on the show. Mm-hmm. Everyone, ShellyWizin.com is her website, and it is Wiz, like Wiz in, W-H-I-Z-I-N. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. I heard you've been pretty busy, though, you know? You got all kinds yeah. of good new things I- happening. Yeah, yeah, a lot of lot of new things just unfolding. I'm involved in a, in a bridal platform, which I'm very excited about. You know, I noticed hmm. that all these other ladies, they're all so conscious, and you guys are conscious of, of living a great life. And I just love that so much and can relate to every single one of you in the way in which you express through the mediums that you have. And I'm, I'm just tickled to be here with you guys. Oh, oh, thank you. And nice. oh, thank you like sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Priscilla Priscilla wants a hug. <laughs> she wants a hug. <laughs> Give her a hug. Priscilla would like to serve you and, and are are you, how are you I know you love to cook and you've got recipes in your book and you're always teaching us mm-hmm. about enjoying yes. cooking. Um so yes. what do you think about Priscilla actually, you know, cooking something for you and, and serving something? You know, what oh, would you honey, like to I eat think and that's drink? A fabulous idea. Uh, well, I would like my favorite drink of all time is hot sake. That's mm, my favorite. Cool. So, And I love it because I don't wake up with a hangover the next day. I mean, I went out well, on a date not too long ago and drank four glasses of Prosecco and could hardly move the next day. I am not in my 20s anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't do jump back up again. Oh, you know, what we've learned is don't drink it with straws. <laughs> There's a whole other story to that. There's a whole other story to that. Oh, my gosh. When you're printing in Las Vegas and they bring you champagne in a straw, um, you say, that's all, why like not? A little dinky, and and then you, Nancy goes into the rest areas, you know, not rest, the restrooms. You know how they do the ladies mm. walk around going cocktails, cocktails? Mm. So Nancy goes in the bathroom and goes cocktails, and you saw hands coming hands up over the door. Up. <laughs> People, <laughs> cocktails. Oh, that's so, so funny. That that's fun. what happens when you have a straw in your champagne. So, yes. what can you? What would you like to eat with your with your warm sake? Oh, well, I definitely love to eat sushi, so I'm I'm a sushi girl. So I want sushi and sushi sake. Is, Here's sushi salmon. Is okay. Here's salmon. I think wow, yeah. I think you're in a good mood to go to Thailand then, you know? I think that might I am definitely fit well. I've always wanted to go to Thailand. Mm. Oh, well, we're going there now. Bobby, haven't you been to Thailand? Yes, we do programs there. Mm, Work with some schools right. there. So, yeah, I love Thailand. Mm. Cool. Okay, Thailand, Thailand it is. Mm. Andrea, have you been there yet? Only in my dreams. That's okay, okay. Well, that's part way there. You know, there it, it is. Well, there you go. That's where it starts. We haven't been there yet. That, that's my favorite word, yet. Word, so, yes. But we're going to go yeah, there virtually yeah. now to pick up Jennifer Saran, an uh, amazing vocalist, as you're about to hear. And since it's bright early in the morning and here we're all sipping wine, Moscato, <laughs> champagne, and hot sake, I think we're going to play the song Wake Up. And maybe we can give her a Bloody Mary. I don't know. But let's play Wake Up. And um, this is truly one of my fo- most, most favorite 
favorite songs. Mm-hmm. Um, Wake Up, uh, she works a lot with uh, Narda, Michael Walden, an incredible producer, recording artist, just musician, I mean everything. And mm-hmm. um, this track uh, also features Carlos Santana and also mm-hmm. uh, Lady Smith's Black Mombazo. And Ooh, I love that them. goes, you know, we used to live in Lady Smith, mm-hmm. so yeah, this is very close them. and dear to to us, mm. and uh, her music is as well. So jennifersaran.com is the website, but here it is. Wake up just to make sure that she's awake, and I know she is. <laughs> oh, it's time to wake up. Wake up.
same in the eyes of God. Everyone again, Wake Up by Jennifer wow. Saran, and so excited to have her mm. back on the show today, all the way in Thailand. And um, if you're not awake, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I think oh that song gosh. needs to be programmed into every I... single alarm clock, whether it's your phone. I don't care what it is, but the coffee maker should play it in the morning. But welcome That's back, me. Jennifer. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. You guys are so fun, really. Very sweet. Thank you for Aww. playing my favorite song. <laughs> oh, it, it makes me cry. I, I, I know. It, I, I know. It's, it's like it, it's deep inside the Africa experience. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I want to go home. I, <laughs> I know. It's that yeah. resiliency, you know? It's yeah. A, oh. and those vibes must, must bring back memories for you ladies. Mm, mm-hmm. Gosh, I, I love whenever Big something's time. down, and you know, and I think I told you the one time a friend had lost a friend, and I play. I was like, "Here, mm. you need to listen to this, and then walk with yeah. me." I also played that for her, and she was oh. it, it helped oh. a whole bunch. Um, an amazing photographer oh, who was filmmaking a thing about whales, and the lady she was mm. making the oh. film with was diving with whales and recording the sounds of whales, and and mm. this lady could sing with the whales. And this is really oh in, interesting when you think about – I've got to go look up the documentary name. Um, this is incredible because mm. what we can hear and what they are hearing is two different things. They can hear really just microscopic, you know, sound. Mm-hmm. And so this lady was able to do this, and so they're all from boats out in the area of Europe, in Thailand and all over, you know. And um, she went to go diving and disappeared, like 100% mm. gone. Oh. We don't know. Oh, it's goodness. crazy. I know. Mm-hmm. So it, she was like, everybody post something to, you know, just get back on feeling good. And so she loved your music, just so you know. Uh, oh, yeah. Chan, Thank her name. you for that. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. But welcome mm-hmm. back. How are you? Are, are you awake in Thailand? <laughs> <laughs> I am indeed awake. It is uh, sunrise that started around a half an hour ago. So it's mm-hmm. still a little misty on the water. But uh, Ooh, yeah, I'm nice. here. It's nice. So. It's a lovely temperature. It's around 75. And, um, Ooh. Yes, nice. we're just happy to be here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, cool. Well, it's good to have nice. you back. Priscilla says hello, and she really likes Thailand, she says, Aww. because you know, she did a good job flying the bus, by the way. I thought she did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, she, she stated she her language. The, she, 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 she could live in Thailand, I think, and be quite happy. <laughs> you know, it feels mm. tropical for her. You know, little welcome all. Yes. Yay, mm-hmm. let's party. Um, <laughs> what would you like to eat and drink for your happy hour? Well, it, it's it's a seven something in the morning, so I'm sticking with coffee right now. But um, mm-hmm. in a perfect world, I th- <laughs> I think it would be a a very nice vo- glass of Bordeaux mm-hmm. and um, a nice a piece of cheese and a piece of baguette maybe. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Jennifer hour, is yeah. very European. Mm. You're European. You are. You're well traveled, though. I mean, how many places have you not been to that you want to go? <laughs> oh, my goodness. How long is a piece of string? Um, really? Oh. <laughs> is there somewhere you want to go now I that did... you've never been? Oh, yeah. There's a few places mm. I want to go. Mm. Um I want to go to I want to go to Leningrad. I want to see all that beautiful architecture, and hear mm-hmm. the music and see the museums. Mm-hmm. And um, I want to go to Antarctica with my daughter. Me too. Cool. And uh, yeah, and I have never mm-hmm. been. Although I've lived in Asia, I've never been to um, Laos. Just mm-hmm. a little few little places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Morocco. I haven't done Morocco. I'd like to see. see Morocco. Really? Because you lived in Egypt, and so you, I would have thought it would. Be I there. know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in those years growing up, there wasn't really people didn't talk about that. We sort of from Egypt mm. we went to Europe, right? Mm. Um, and then it was yeah, sort of, of it took off yeah. when I left and I went I went east. It was mm. a shocker. Um, nobody that I knew really had been east except one a professor of mine, mm. and uh, and I ended up in Asia all those years later. So yeah, we I never did West Africa. So mm. I'd like to go that side one day, but more I'd start with Morocco. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, she's yeah. got she's got a list, and I know there's mm. more. What about you, Bob? Going over to Bobby the Porter. I know Bobby, you've traveled the world too. Is there somewhere you haven't been that you want to go? 
Um, well, a- Antarctica came, came to mind, just a whole mm. continent not yeah. being on. So, um, yeah. And definitely some places that I haven't seen in in Europe. I'd like to go to Norway because that's my background and oh, cool. grandmother mm. from there. So I oh, think I'd nice. like to just go there and explore. And she spoke the language and wore some clothes that were representative from there. So I'd like to go see mm. that. Oh, Ooh, nice. what about Bobby, you'd I have recommend to eat the cruise. Food. Ooh, yeah, the cruise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the cruise. I, I got to see cruises. Norway. Yeah, I got to I got to do five cities or six cities in Norway, and if I had it to do over, I would have stopped in the last one and then spent a little more time, because you get a flavor. But I think, especially if it's your heritage, going into it would be really fun. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You that that I mean that's what happened to us in Africa. We went there and just didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're here. I I say this, but now we've been we've been here longer it's than dangerous. Africa. Now it's, we've crossed over that line, you know. But they're I all know, beautiful. See, I'm amazing. right back there now. I'm right back. But there. I want to know if Bobby's eaten lutefisk then. Oh, well, you know that uh, we mm. used to have Joe and I, a next door neighbor, that were very Norwegian, and they would invite us to dinners oh. at their house that was all full of Norwegian food. So I think I've eaten most everything at our Little neighbors. <laughs> No, the lutefisk is the the fermented fish thing that really stinks. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. serious, <laughs> serious stinky. But I don't know sure what I was eating. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't, I, that there are times when I'm glad I'm allergic to fish and lutefisk. <laughs> 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 they use it as like things on like the Amazing Race or you know Survivor kind of TV shows where you have got to eat yeah. that to get to the next bit or mm-hmm. your challenge or whatever. No. And it's no, no, Luda, no, it's not, not, oh, not you know, the last time we saw it, there was that TV show with um, Winkler and uh, William Shatner and oh, Terry yeah. Bradshaw mm-hmm. that went around when mm-hmm. they traveled around the country <sighs> and the world. Oh, no, that was so and, much fun. And they brought out the Lutefisk. And that was <laughs> that was that was funny. Not, I, I want happening. to go, to Andrea. Andrea, where do you want to go? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think I would like to go to Spain, but mm-hmm. next on my list would be the river cruise that goes up the Rhine. Ooh, nice. Ooh, the Rhine cruise. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Like a yeah. Viking mm-hmm. river cruise, the Viking ones. I, yeah. I, know, I, I want to nice. know why nobody wants to go to Peachtree City. Hey, <laughs> we're here. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Peachtree City is awesome. They've got lakes. It's a and good destination. It is a, it's a good destination. Listen, you should. Yesterday on yesterday's Champagne Sunday <laughs> show, one of our music guests, Taylor Joyner, him and his wife has been yes. on our show since the beginning, and he, he said, mm-hmm. "You're in Peachtree City. Did you remember I come from Atlanta?" And he said he was a door-to-door salesman for some subscription paper newspaper thing. He said. And the prices were outrageous, he said, but he, Peachtree City was his beat. And he said you'd go door to door, and this was the nicest community out of anywhere. Mm-hmm. And they didn't, yeah. you know, they didn't mess with him. They respected that he was working his butt off, and, you know, he, he just had nothing but good stuff to say about Peachtree City. And then yeah. he had to educate people about golf How cart nice. communities. Because when you go to the high school, Andrea took us there, there is golf cart parking for the kids. <laughs> It's crazy. There's a parking lot for golf cars. I mean, that's wow. it's, it's, it's a whole and, other and they world. fill it up and they and those carts you can look into the woods. They're in the woods. They're across at the shopping center. They're everywhere. So and let's yeah, you've got to be out. careful driving. And let's not leave out Barbie Beach. Barbie Beach. <laughs> oh, well, that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, there is a Barbie Beach. That's in here. Turin. <laughs> okay, not in her town. She's like, that's not in our town. They took it. Yeah. No, no, I'm completely... not claiming Barbie Beach now. <laughs> Phil, her husband, oh, those girls need to get some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, listen, you got to tell. I couldn't even put the pictures on Facebook. So, yeah. but Phil took us, and you got to give Phil, you know, shout out to to him, you know, because he he got excited about taking us to something different because we're all into roadside attractions well, and, and weird stuff. <laughs> and he said, no, we're taking. He took us out to a nice southern lunch like real southern food, and just mm. like we had a day, like really exploring, and it was beautiful. Um, Sonoya, am I saying that right yet, Andrea? That was beautiful, that beautiful community. You just kind of have and, to cut uh, it off and say Sonoy. 
Uh, so okay. I'm you don't have doing it right. So Noi. So Noi. Listen, this is where The Walking Dead is filmed. So in, yes. <laughs> amongst mm-hmm. the peach trees, you might find a zombie, <laughs> but th- he takes Barbie a, Beach. <laughs> Barbie Beach, and somebody <laughs> decided that on the side of the, on the high, side of the highway, they are going to create a beach, and they have a bunch of Barbies all dressed up Barbie or undressed, doll. doing weird things. They have little dinosaurs with them, military <laughs> tanks. It's the craziest thing, but I couldn't put it on Facebook because they'll knock me off because Barbies were naked. But but so but the, all of them, yes. But the, but the best part of it was it's fine. Please do not put any more Barbies here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> People are dumping their Barbies. But like, man, no, stop it. It's crazy. I, I want to go to Shelly, though. I want to know, because, Shelly, you've traveled the world, too. Like, where would you want to go now that you haven't been? I have always wanted and will go one day to um, to see the Northern Lights. Ooh, nice. So whether that's like Norway that. or Iceland yeah. or I just want yeah. to stand there and get mm. in. Just to nice. feel all that energy and the colors of those mm. lights. And it's just so majestic it's so big it's so massive that Mm. I just want to actually feel part of space and I Mm. think seeing those northern lights is going to give me that experience I can feel it in my body and I'm not even there nice man I was on a cruise in Alaska once and it was a smaller ship there were only 70 on it which is small for a cruise in Alaska and one night you know it sound asleep it was 2 a.m. and the captain's going Everyone up, everyone on deck. And so mm. everybody was on deck in their pajamas, and we're all up on the mm-hmm. deck, and it was the northern lights. So oh, that's God. why she mm. woke us up and got us nice. up on deck in the middle of the night. Oh, that's you nice. Start wow. playing Jennifer's that. song, the song, the wake-up mm. song. <laughs> yeah, it is the wake-up. Get up. everybody up. See? Yeah, it's, it's, maybe that's what the, the today's show is. Welcome to happy hour. Now wake up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just you know, but I, I I love that. I mean, it these magical places, and there's so many. I want to go to South America and Costa Rica. I want to go play yeah. jungle. Mm. I'm so mm. excited, mm. and I want to go see the pink dolphins. I would just love mm. to canoe down the on the, the Amazon River. Just canoe, just mm-hmm. like wow. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to do that. With a crocodile. That's my, they do that's, a cruise. That's I no, I want to be in a canoe. I want to go down oh, the Amazon. <laughs> no, that's my style. I'm a canoe mm. person. I want I and I want to sleep on the banks, you know. Mm. In a I tent. like that. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> let's let's play happy hour. I still want to catch up with each of you about this year because we are in a new year. And it just, you know, it's kind of interesting, like our year, does it really start on January 1st? Because that's what we humans said that we need to do. Um, there's all these mm-hmm. different, I mean, Chinese New Year's about to happen. Um, and then Groundhog Day comes up and we've got all these we different Groundhog New Year's. Day. I mean, you've got to think of the Jewish faith. And so we've got all these different New Year's. And then I think, then it's like, okay, COVID came out and then it's like, I feel like February is a new year. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, can we just live every day as a new year? So I want to kind of yeah, focus on, on some of what, what, you know, moving forward. Jennifer, I know that you've been doing more music with, with Narda, right, with Christmas music. Are you, it, what's happening on that? Yeah. Well, that, since the last time we spoke, I, I released a few songs last year, one at Valentine's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then uh, another one in September was a tribute to my mother called mm. um, Almost Five O'Clock. Um, and um, and then we did a new Christmas uh, song in December, sort of like uh, the tradition of the the year before, trying to be a healing song in COVID times and bring mm. people together. It's called uh, Christmas in a Bubble. Mm-hmm. Oh. And uh, we've recently just uh, finished and... Um, we're going to release very soon um, another jazz piece called um, We All Make Mistakes. So that's coming. Oh. You're the first yeah. spirit that's outside of our bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And and so you and Narada are continuing to be able to work together, right? I mean, this that, that is your writing oh, yeah. partner, basically, right? Your writing Absolutely. and recording partner. Yes. He's amazing. He, he and I, amazing. Yeah. He, really is. he and I are are connected in another in a, on another uh, planet in another world. <laughs> yeah, so we uh we we have magic together. We feel, so yeah, we're working on three, mm-hmm. four songs right now, trying cool. to oh. um, put them together. Yeah, 
Oh nice. wow! Are you going to come back? I know it's been you've been in London for a while, and you live in Hong Kong, right? And then you were in London and got stuck there for a while, which was cool because you're with your daughter. But yeah. now you're in Thailand. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, are you coming back to America anytime? Well, you know, it's. I was actually in New York uh, over Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year. I went to oh, visit oh, my good. son in New York. Yeah, awesome. and, um, you know that was lovely to be with them. Um, but I have discovered a studio in London, just ten minutes down the road from my daughter, and so Ooh. that was how we did um, the Christmas in a Bubble, and we also recorded this this uh, to be soon to be released jazz piece, and. Uh, so it works. So as long as I'm in London, I, I'm not out of the loop. Because um, mm-hmm. before it used to be I used to fly, have to fly all the way to San Francisco to record. <clears throat> and these days that is, uh, it's more challenging to get on a plane right, right. and go all that distance. You know, the rules are constantly changing. So you make a plan mm-hmm. and then, whoops, that rule changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 As many of so you know, we, Nancy and I, uh, pets it as we travel, and then we travel doing our tourism work. And it's every day something is just, it, you think you know what you're doing. And, I mean, that's normal for me anyway. Like, I think I do. And I'm yeah, kind that's of, you funny. know. But then it changes yeah. all the time. So now I just kind of want to say, just expect everything to change with everything at any time. That's just it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I the way it is. to do this. The key of this year is going to be flexibility. A key to excellence. Flexibility. Uh, you, you the new mantra. Lose. Yeah. Yeah, it, you, yeah. You've got to be flexible, or you're going to give yourself a heart attack or something. You've got to mm-hmm. be flexible. <laughs> you have to always remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of that, Bobby, give us all a rundown on the Eight Keys of Excellence because it's an amazing program. Um, it's a, a nonprofit program. Go to eightkeys.org. Um, you've written the book, the, the Eight Keys of Excellence. And I mean, uh, how many books do you have? You have it. I was on there today, Nineteen. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not reading wow. wow. every one. <laughs> oh, sorry. you have to write another. One. Make it 20. You have to make it. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to 20, go to oh, You got three. Uh, 22 for 20, 2022. <laughs> but um, the eight keys of excellence and um, quantum success, those you know, those books. Have, yeah, I mean, there's just so many that you've written on teaching and how kids can learn. I mean, how to teach kids how to learn and how, teaching par- uh, parents and teachers. Mm-hmm. You know, especially mm-hmm. the teachers, how to teach, and I mean that connectivity, and that every student is individual, and and teaching mm-hmm. kids to be individual, and I think the eight keys really goes with that, and and a lot of schools adopt it, and I would think right now, um, I know schools are in and out. It's you know, it's it's a different thing in a different town, or um, but these are universal principles, and. Um, I, every homeschooling parent should be grabbing these and using them it, in schools it, um, right now. It works in, because you could, it works in business, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah, so give us the, the rundown. Yeah. yeah. We just love it, yeah. as you can tell. I know. <laughs> We're very focused on how to learn, and the other is mm-hmm. life skills. And the Eight Keys of Excellence are, is a character program, and there are principles to live by. And they become our core, what we stand for, who we are, is how um, students talk about them as well as um, adults. We talk about them every mm-hmm. day they come up. But the eight, eight keys of excellence, the first one is integrity, matching our behavior with our values. The second is failure leads to success, learn from mistakes. So I loved hearing you're working on a song of We All Make Mistakes. It's so mm-hmm. powerful just to reframe that for parent, um, for everybody. You know, when we make a mistake, just, you know, we always ask three questions. What happened? What did you learn? And what will you do differently? And it just send, propels us forward versus getting stuck in our mistakes. And most successful people are the ones that made the most mistakes and learn from them. So a favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, everyone is a favorite in a different way. The next is speak with good purpose. Speak honestly and kindly. It's about the intention of our words, being mindful. This is it. Make the most of every moment. Mm -hmm. Commitment, make your dreams happen. Ownership, take responsibility for actions. Own the choices we make and the results that follow. Flexibility, we've been talking about, Mm -hmm. is be willing Mm -hmm. to do things differently and recognize what's not working. And it is a mindset of just being willing to, okay, what now do I need to do to get my result? And balance, which is live your best life. 
Mm. I love that. I love that. Mm-hmm. And there, it just it is just an awesome program. And I encourage people to get the book too. And um, quantum success that'll also be something amazing. And um, I, I want to touch back to Shelley because Shelley, you teach the three Bs of you know yep. being conscious. Um, doesn't this kind of connect as well? The the eight keys of excellence connect with what you're doing too. Totally. I mean, tell you know, it, there's nothing new under the sun. We all know that. And it's all about vernacular and language that we use and how we phrase something and, and, and what context we put it in. And, I, I mean, I looked at uh, your eight keys of, of, um, of that, and I just I yeah, loved it. I mean, we're all talking the same thing. So yes. the three Bs that, I'm, that I bring to everybody's attention is believing, behaving, becoming. Because everything in life is based on a belief. Everything, every single thing is based on what we believe. And how we behave is based on what we believe. And who we become is based on how we behave. So they're all interconnected. So I've created a four-week course taking people through these three Bs and adding some neuroscience and a little bit of quantum physics in there sprinkled with some mysticism. So I love using science uh, as the contemporary language for, for mysticism. And so um, it's, it's really fun. It's, it's, I, I, I bring people through a process where they're going to investigate, identify what limiting beliefs are hanging around and where they get those. I mean, most mm. limiting beliefs are not ours. We got them from our parents or somewhere. Yeah, Lisa. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, here we go. Here we, here we, well, she said behave, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, you know yeah, but yeah. I, I, I love that. As soon as everyone said that, I'm like, I, I think that's the word I use with Lisa the most when when she was a child was, please behave. And then <laughs> and then it would be behave. Oh, that's funny. And then it mm-hmm. would be, if you don't behave, this is <laughs> what's going to happen. Oh, you're Uh-oh. funny. The oh, consequences. Funny. Oh yeah, yeah and when true. you know she 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 was very um <laughs> she she followed through on anything she she was a very good follow upper and um yes. <laughs> the ownership key she would always make me take you know that ownership of, key of excellence you will take mm-hmm. ownership of what you just did and you I told you if you did this that this is your consequences and so mm-hmm. yep um mm-hmm. going to happen uh, that that happens but I I think this is so interesting because Jennifer what you do with music is the same thing yeah. that it's it's connecting yeah. and it gets people to center and I think that's also the same. Andrea, I know that you also worked in, in education, right? And still work in education, I not did. just in, in uh, teaching. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I was a speech and language pathologist in my first life. I'm now living <laughs> my second life. So. <laughs> love it. Okay. But she gets to have I nine kids. So well, I, you get to have I, 18 I kids appreciate kids. everything. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate everything that you all are doing and saying and trying to teach to our um, children who are, um, what's the word? Hungry. Yeah. Uh, well, hungry. do you think they're hungry? Yes, I do. I taught, you know, spontaneously, I taught an 11-week course to fourth graders, and the subject was, the energy of being human. And we talked about energy and how they can manage their energy and how they become these little CEOs of their own life, chief energy officers. And how, what is this energy? What is this thing called being a human being? And how do I navigate through life? How do I pass a test? How do I not get stressed out when a test comes my way? Mm-hmm. And, and, and they were so attentive. I mean, I brought some some toys to play with energy sticks and, and stuff like that, that demonstrated that we're all made up of energy. And they were, and I kept asking him, are you sure you want me to come back next week? Yes, yes, yes. They're hungry, but they just don't mm-hmm. know. They don't have a clue. People don't talk to them. I think them they're hungry. Them. I agree with you. And many of them are yeah. hungry for direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's our job as parents, you know. Yeah, that's our job. That mm-hmm. if you have a child, that's your job. That's what your focus has to be on on mm-hmm. your child or your children first. It mm-hmm. has to be the ultimate yeah. thing. Obviously, survival is part of that, but you can't 
you can't leave the child in order to just keep making more and more and more. You've got to you've got to be part of the child. More life. babies? Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying to make more and more money. Money. Or to more, right. to or just, bigger, yeah. better house, bigger, yeah. better, yeah. everything. You can't. Yeah. You have to, you have to invest and on that's... your, what you just created in a mm-hmm. child. Mm-hmm. You create a child. Mm-hmm. Your responsibility lies right there. Dang, mm-hmm. I'm serious, but like, that's a serious commitment. Mm-hmm. Like you use well, the word yeah. commitment. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, children. Yay, 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 yay! I, I mean, hats mm-hmm. off to parents. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's not easy at all. You know, and it's a relationship that here it is, and and now you've got to nurture in both ways. You know, it's a it's a two way thing too, and so it's a. I think parents are always learning with their kids, and their kids are always learning with their parents. And then when the grandparent oh. thing comes in, mm-hmm. then it's like this whole mm-hmm. other circle of like the the parents that are now grandparents learn stuff from when they were parents and so that's the grandparent role is so important you know but you, um because uh-huh. they never stop learning you should never stop Mm-mm. learning ever no uh-uh. i do i do want to ask andrea with doing speech did music ever help in teaching with what you did with kids oh yeah of course uh, often it brings about uh, you know you're working with two different sides of the brain Mm. Um, music mm. is one side and speech is another, but that music mm. will bring about that stuff. Cool. Just See, like I, the motor I, also brings about the speech. Yeah, it's um, it's it's all. It was, I used everything I could and. And it mm-hmm. was amazing to see how the lights would go on with these little ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, cool. that's cool. I just love so, doing that. It's, mm. it's, I think it's so cool. Thank like, you. All, all ladies here that are doing all these things. It's all communication. It's all message work. It's mm-hmm. all how do we get how do we get there, you know? And yeah. it's I think mm-hmm. music's a huge part, art is a huge part and Andrea mm-hmm. um you know you've got the Southern Hands Artist Studio Tour that happens every November and you've we've have been on the show two years now. Can you believe that? <laughs> with, with this. Yeah. That's amazing. It's been I know. wonderful. Like, mm. It's been fun. And uh you've got mm. your students that come here on Wednesday nights and you know, you've you've got you know people coming in and using your studio too, and um, but the you call it Shasta, the, the Southern Hands Artist. Let me give everyone the website too because um, you've got to start preparing for November. It's S H A S Tour dot com. So um, it's still mm. going on for November. Are you already working on it, or do you get to wait like till summer to work on it? I get to wait until summer, but definitely it is. Just like with you, ladies, it's always on my mind. You're always oh, looking to see you. how you can do better, how you can make it um, mm. more enjoyable and less work at the same time. So, yeah, there's a lot that goes on. And then it's the uh, discovery of new artists. Yeah, new artists mm, that's so cool. In the area. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, Very cool. And, and also what is considered, you know, adding the things that some people wouldn't consider art. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what would that be? What would that be? Well, I mean, you know, I in my studio, I would love to have some um, somebody playing something musical. Mm. Oh, that'd be awesome, Jennifer! You got to fly over mm-hmm. during the tour. <laughs> Jennifer, <laughs> oh my word! I'll be, I'll, that would be so I'll awesome. Come, but I promise, I'll come. Her time is <laughs> much more valuable than that. <laughs> I'll tell you, no, it's beautiful. You can go out of a golf You could get a, a you know, a, a little string duo or uh, people to play some music during an auction. You know, auction. What? You know what? I'm gonna I'm this gonna con- I'm gonna call yeah, Zakia. Be lovely. Zakia Hooker. Listen, Zakia Hooker and Ooh, her husband, yeah. you know, live up the road from you. And we saw them the yeah. last time we were here. We went up and had lunch with them and they taught us about collard greens. And you know we had a good lunch. And Zakia not only not only does is she you know Johnny Hooker's daughter and an amazing vocalist. Her husband Olin uh, is amazing. He he mm-hmm. was with the Natural Four way back when, and um, he's like Sam Cooke. Let me just that's that's it. he's like yeah. Sam Cooke kind of voice. Nice. And he's amazing. Wow. And the two of them put music together. They and, could, yeah, she. They're just. They are. They're just. And right here. he knows wine. He knows wine, and she knows how to cook and bake. 
we'll talk about that on another show. But they're she makes really happy people. food. They're but um, she's a jeweler. She's making jewelry now as well mm-hmm. because she's just during COVID. And normally they're in Argentina recording, but she says stuff the road. We could get her here. Maybe. Yeah. I'm Ooh. thinking. I don't know. Incorporate something. <laughs> I don't know. The door, is open. the door is open if she I, wants to walk through it. And the other thing okay. that I think that ah. would be interesting for people to to see or talk to are our authors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that's, it's not all an, that's not an easy door to open. Mm-hmm. You ladies mm-hmm. don't know that. Oh, actually, oh, oh, yeah. well, I can help you there. I got I got authors dying to be able to go back to being mm-hmm. doing book uh, book tours, book sales. I mean, Jennifer, isn't it the same for you musically, wanting to be able to be back performing, right? It's so been a weird time yeah. during covid but authors want to be out yeah just like musicians yeah um and sure. it is yeah. art takes in everything <clears throat> art takes in everything that's there why we're the no blend we could take all the life people without that art do, 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 do. that's yeah. why we're the blend because it mm-hmm. takes everybody mm-hmm. it takes all the talents of every individual to make things work it's a big mm-hmm. blend. yeah we can yeah, we can find the author. I know I love that. Yeah, I like mm. that. Mm. Jennifer, I think you need to finish your new music so that you can come here, and I'll bring wine <laughs> from, from from Willamette Valley because we're going back to Washington State and Oregon. I'll bring it. Great. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get her here. to finish writing, so yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, since, you got to You know, you got to keep up with us. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Will. I will try. You're in the. Thank you. You're in a good writing spot. So listen, before we all go, we're going to play more music as, as we close the show, but it is happy hour, and um, it looks like everyone's got a good year ahead. And, um, you know, there's a lot going on, but we've all got to keep – I just keep the three Bs and the excellence and the music and the art going forward. Um, but let's do happy hour. So let's find out who you want to spend happy hour with, anyone alive or passed on. And if so, where is it going to be? And are you going to bring them happy hour food and drinks? That's you know we're doing a lot of that I think now, but we, it's really about the person and why do you want to connect? Is it learning? Is it fun? Um, you know, it could be a hot firefighter. I don't know. Maybe you just want to check out their funds. I don't know. So yeah, I love how you plant you. those ideas. I know. I'm just saying it could be anything. It's happy hour. You're supposed to be happy. Mm. So Jennifer, for you, who do you want to spend time with? I think I would spend a happy hour with my mother if she was still with us. Mm. She oh, has yeah. such a such a life, and I don't think I fully appreciated some of the things that uh, I didn't know, right? So now mm. she's not with us anymore. I know the things I would ask her. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Cool. And, and mm. Anywhere in specific? Uh, any one thing? Yeah, anywhere, um, anywhere, anywhere. Yeah, in specific. Oh, anywhere. With her. Yeah, I think I would. Uh, I would go back to to Cairo, and I would mm. have. Uh, I would have happier with hour with her, looking at the Nile, mm. and chatting. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I nice. love that. Uh, and let's go to you, Shelley. Who are you spending happy hours? No, with? I was just thinking about what what came to me was Albert Einstein. Um, <laughs> mm. in cool. Using. In using quotes with the kids, I'd always put an Albert Einstein quote on the board, and mm. it kind of concretized these woo-woo no- notions of energy, you know. And, um, uh, yeah, I would, I would spend the time talking to Albert Einstein. I probably would do it in space. And, uh, wow. So, because, <laughs> Are you going to take Shatner there with you? <laughs> yeah, I'll take Shatner with me, because just the whole notion to be in space and have a conversation with Einstein would really be intriguing to me other than that i'll just do my my little four week beautiful program on being conscious and uh we'll just start that to, on wednesday actually so right diving on. into the right three on. b's yeah cool very excited everyone shelly com, and that's shelly with an e-y and it's a w-h-i-z-i-n that's such a cool name wizen mm-hmm. i'm wizen it yeah you know it's i love fun. it it's like you're yeah. diving yeah. into life i love it soul diver that's yeah. right yeah so exactly Bobby, who are you spending happy hour with? I'm spending it with uh, Melinda Gates. She just does so much uh, good work around the world and so many different topics. And we just like a very relaxed, personal conversation, see ourselves out on a patio 
with, mm. you know, just some water and just sitting there in comfortable chairs and just feeling no time restraints, just a relaxed mm. conversation. Mm. Ooh, those are nice when you can have those with, you know, people you mm-hmm. want to have them with, you know. That's, mm-hmm. And sometimes you need to have them with the ones that you don't want to have them with because maybe mm-hmm. that's what's most needed, you know. Mm-hmm. That's that's mm-hmm. beautiful. What about you, Andrea? <clears throat> Jennifer, I want to spend the time not only with my mom but my dad as well because mm-hmm. there are so many questions that now that, uh, you know, I'm where they were, um, I have for them every day. And I wish they were still here for me to call and say, hey, mom, or hey, dad. And I don't have that. So I miss Mm -hmm. that. Um, This Mm -hmm. summer, Phil and I went to see my son in Colorado, where my uh, my mom was raised. And uh, we went to Salida, which was her little town. And up on the top of the mountain in Salida, Mm -hmm. there's a little cabin. And my younger brother had been there with my mother and said that she had – she had etched her name in the side of that building. And so we looked all over the place for it, and finally my son found it. Oh, cool. And Ooh. she cool. really etched it into the concrete. So it's not going anywhere. Oh. It is there until that building comes down. Oh, you're wow. giving me chills. Really to find out about <clears throat> that for sure. <laughs> cool. Oh, I love it. How long did that take that's, you? <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome. That's so that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, but you that. know, you've got that spirit too. Like, you know, you do. Yeah. You're one of those, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. And I think mm-hmm. that's a beautiful quality to have, you know, yeah. because we things will go past in life if you don't just do it, you yeah. know, no matter how hard that's it is. That's true. Because you mm-hmm. got to do it. you got to do it. Nancy, for you. Okay, you know, the last time you asked me this, I gave a different answer, and this person has been bugging me. Leonardo <laughs> da Vinci. Has, oh, here we ah. go. <laughs> now, just because he was so ahead <laughs> of his time that I get this feeling that now he's starting to go, wait a minute, they're almost ahead of me, almost, because he has an ego, and I just would like to spend time with him because he mm. was all thinking in so many directions, not just <clears> art, <throat> you know? It, so I think he he was... Seriously ahead of his time, and his time could have been now. We could mm. use him now, actually. Mm. That's cool. I agree. I think he I wants with that. to come back. He wants and, to come and back. And he had he. Again, I have to remind everyone he has one of the oldest vineyards in the world. Like they at well, one that's point another thought good that point. wine came from there, but <laughs> Lebanon and and that area is where wine comes from. But um, mine is Sir Francis Bacon, and oh, uh, and I'm like just. Bacon. Well, no, because he's a philosopher, and I've never, I want to sit down with a true philosopher, mm-hmm. and I know he studied, you know, other philosophers, and I got all into some of his writing, and I really don't know that much about him, but there's a quote I posted on Twitter the other day, and I think it really connects everyone on the show today, because each of you bring this to the world. The quote is, wonder is the seed of knowledge. And I think in everything you do, in music, it makes you open up. Mm-hmm. It makes you calm enough to open up. Or maybe you're going to, you know, wiggle your butt, you know, to a song that you like, <laughs> which means you're, you're opening up another, you know, part of your brain, you know. So it's wonder. With art, art always brings wonder. Being conscious, mm-hmm. teaching that, that brings wonder because once you're conscious, then That's you right. get to have wonder because now everything's open. And what Bobby's doing with the eight keys of excellence as soon that's as you get awesome. that aha, that's it. Mm-hmm. You know, that is the this is it, isn't it, Bobby? <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. Every, yeah, everything shifts from there. And just yep. being aware and feeling that shift. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Exactly. So that quote is, um, wonder is the seed of knowledge, because I think that's what I'm always chasing is wonder. I was thinking about it. Why do we keep traveling? What is it about Nancy and I always just keep going? It's about the wonder. It, it is, yeah, and you wonder what's on the other side. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. Well, there's you know? only one way but, to find out. Mm, go do it. Gotta go. Go do it. 
Yep. Well, ladies, go thank you so much for joining us on our happy hour party for our anniversary show, and we can't wait. Jennifer, we cannot wait for your new music. We love it, and we're just excited. Mm-hmm. We're excited about it. And Andrea, we'll see you soon. Bobby, hopefully we'll see you we're on the West Coast. And Shelly, hopefully we'll see you too because we need a cooking yes, lesson. And will. so does Priscilla. Yes, oh, Priscilla's yeah. got some new recipes she needs to make. So um, we'll all see you soon. And hopefully Jennifer at some point will get to see her and, you know, have some wine, Jennifer. <laughs> well, we want that. <laughs> well, lovely to we'll get with all of you ladies. Thank hey, you so song much. Took, yes, same song here. Absolutely. Took me home. Your song yeah, took me exactly. Home. It, it does. Every time you hear it. Well, now mm-hmm. we're going to close with, so you can hear her voice, how now she does jazz. And it's beautiful. And Smoky Nights is like, she's mm. got the smoky voice. She's got this beautiful, no, you're, the jazz thing is good, man. Jennifer, mm. oh, it's, it's it. So here it is. Everyone, thank you for joining us. Keep up with us at BigBlendRadio.com. We're going to have our next live show on February 1st with Carney, uh, an amazing musician, and our friends Steve and Karen Wilson uh, from the Lion and Rose Bed and Breakfast in Asheville telling us <laughs> what to see and experience in spring in the Great Smoky Mountains. So it's going to be a great cool. show. Here it is, Smoky Nights. Take care, ladies. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you.